With the need 2022 allotment process going on, some of you might have already known that the NMC has released a new revised curriculum. And with the new curriculum that's out, there are quite a few significant changes which have occurred. And in this video, I would like to share my thoughts and views on the new curriculum and how it will affect the life of the new MBBS students. So let's get started. Hello everyone, myself Omar Muhammad and I'm currently a third year medical student studying at Gamma Medical College Koyukur. So before moving on to the new curriculum, I would like to describe how the MBBS course is designed right now. So my batch was the first CBME batch, that is the first batch where a new curriculum by the NMC, the competency based medical education was implemented and it did have quite a few significant changes compared to our seniors. The first one was that in our second year, the forensic medicine paper was shifted to the third year, which I will have to write in this coming March. And the duration of the second year was also reduced. Earlier it was nearly one and a half years, 18 months. In our new curriculum, it's roughly one year. Because of COVID, we didn't have that much of time. Yet in the curriculum, the time is one year. Now, what are the new changes which have been introduced? First and foremost, the changes are mostly on the third and fourth years, that is on the phase three of your MBBS. Part two of your phase three, that is your final year, will now be one and a half years. Earlier it was one year, but now the time has increased. You will now get one and a half years, 17 and a half months to prepare for your final year. However, there is a more significant change which has occurred. The ENT and ophthalmology whose paper was in the part one, that is in your third year, is now shifted to the final year. And which means that in final year, you will now have to deal with 11 subjects, including all the minor subjects. The first question is, why did this change happen? The reason is that everyone knows that next is definitely going to be out soon. And the 2022-2023 batches will definitely appear for the next examination. And in the next examination, it's going to be a clinically oriented examination. Unlike the NEED PG, which was written after the internship, next uh, exam will be written in your final MBBS. And ENT and ophthalmology will have more, it's expected to have more weightage than before. So the clinical subjects will definitely have its own importance. So the new curriculum is actually designed in a next oriented way so that the students can now prepare for the next along with their final year that is ENT and Oftal is now prepared in your final year rather than in your third year. The next question is what about the third year then? Well, the duration of third year has reduced significantly. It's going to be the shortest year. It's just going to be 10 and a half months and you'll only have two subjects in your third year. That is the forensic medicine and the SPM, community medicine. So these will be the two subjects in your third year. And what does this mean for the students? First and foremost, I believe personally that the final year is going to be now more stressful than before. The part of the reason is that the next exit exam itself adds an extra pressure compared to the need PG because you have to deal with the need PG after your internship. But now with the next coming, you have to deal with it in your MBBS uh, time itself before your uh, internship starts. That's a huge change in and out of itself. And now in your final year, you will have to deal with two more additional subjects, which definitely means that the final year is going to be more uh, stressful academically than in the previous batches however it's still more supportive of next than the present curriculum so that's one thing which i feel and secondly is that we have this thing called honeymoon period in mbbs usually earlier it was the second mbbs because in second mbbs you had relatively three to four subjects even though those are the basic sciences 18 months uh, was the duration and therefore the second MBBS was considered as the honeymoon period. But I believe that from now onwards, the third year is going to be the actual honeymoon period in MBBS because you just have to deal with forensic medicine and SPM and you have 10 months for that. But I believe that the Y students will make use of this time to prepare for the final year subjects because rather than keeping the final year subjects, which are pretty large to be covered in even in one and a half years, the students might make use of this time during their third MBBS if they are wise enough. Another change which I believe will happen is that the enrollment into PG coaching institutes will happen more earlier. The pressure to clear your uh, next exam before the internship definitely will have to start preparing more early. 
and as a result i believe that in the present scenario students mostly join coaching pg coaching for uh, during their second third or final mpbs but i now believe that there will be a rise in the number of students joining the pg institutes right from the first year itself thing is will this affect the clinical skills of students i do not know how much it's going to affect clinically because part of the reason is that first next is a clinical based exam and secondly the rule of 80% attend attendance still stands which means that students will not have that much of an option to leave the clinical side and prepare for the lectures unlikely to happen because of the attendance thing finally from an extra curricular point of view i think this will have a significant effect i believe that the new cbme curriculum itself is more academically oriented it adds an extra pressure to the students and to our batchmates as well and with this new change i believe that the extra curricular side of students will now decrease more than the current scenario especially uh, it's mostly during the final years when everyone stops the extra curricular activities their arts sports everything is given up during the final years and they prepare for the final years for that one full year in complete concentration but now with the next and with the new change that has occurred i believe that the students will now enjoy a shorter time for extra curriculars than before so that's some of the changes which i believe will happen the good thing about the new curriculum is that about the cbm is that one good thing which i felt is the electives which will take place from our batch onwards i do not know how it's going to be implemented but theoretically it's a really nice thing we'll have to see how it works out practically our batch our electives will be uh, around march or april it's not yet confirmed but that i believe is a new good new change which has occurred in the cbm curriculum that's my views on the new curriculum i will be posting more content related to medicine and mpbs and about my hobbies in this channel so do like this subscribe and share channel with your friends and i do post medical lectures in this channel as well if you're interested you can view them as well that's it for this video thank you